Okay, Aaron, you were looking to see how I put in this vertical line right here between these two columns. So let me just show you the CSS inside of this page. It's a pretty simple page. Where did I have that open here? There we go. Um, so let's uh, take a look at the CSS. We'll click on the little button I made up here at the top, which is pretty cool because I made this so that I could resize um, the custom CSS and the tracking code and stuff. So um, what I did in here was pretty simple. This top section right here you see is blue. That's just a linear gradient. And I just pulled that linear gradient off of Russell's site. And then the what you were looking for in particular is that vertical line between the columns. And all you do is you find your column. And then in the first instance, I had border right. So what you were looking at right here, this is border right. And then down a little bit further, I did the exact same thing, but on the left hand side of the border. So here on the left border, I made a border right. On the right border, I made a border left. And again, it's just simple little one pixel. It's, uh, it's black with just 20% opacity on it. And then another thing I have in here that you may want to use is as you're sizing down the viewport size, if you get below 1170 pixels, so between 1170 pixels and where it goes to mobile view, for some reason, ClickFunnels puts in there an additional 20 pixels of padding. Before that, it's always 10 pixels of padding. And once you get below 1170, it bumps it up to 20, which killed me in this uh, case here because it made these two items way too skinny. And I liked them uh, exactly the way they were. So I had to come in and just change it and just say, hey, just leave it at the 10 pixels. Don't make it go down to 20 pixels. And then here in the pop up, what that's all about is the um, I wanted to make it 100 percent width. So I took out the padding on either side inside of the pop-up, and that's the CSS code for it right there if you need that. Now, let me uh, just click out of here for a second. And down here, you um, so this here was an image. That's all this was. I swiped that straight off of Russell's site. But down here where we had this other stack, this is actually some code that I got when I bought Justin Searcy's program. And if anybody wants any information on that, just let me know. And you just, you basically, you create two lines here on the, um, uh, just one, one line of text and another line of text. That's all it is. And then the code just says, take these two, put them side by each. Make it 100% width or whatever width you want. You can make it less width and then put a bunch of dots in between. And it works out pretty slick, as you saw in the video itself. I don't know. I won't be able to find it right now, but just watch the video. So so that's it. It's uh, some pretty simple stuff. But this right here, I can't show you how that works because that's proprietary code that Justin wrote. So I would not uh, ever want to show that to anybody. So if you got any other questions on that, feel free to reach out.